and that was Kelly Peters, one third of the three chords performing last Saturday night at the spot in Culver City. She's awesome. Let's see that face again. <laughs> okay, so I've got lots and lots and lots of news to talk about here on Gay Today. First and foremost, Casey Poma, you all know him. Do not do this. It was over last night, and he asked me if I wanted to taste his cheap-ass version of Coca-Cola. Like, I am going to drink cheap-ass versions of Coke. I have standards, and it's not drinking the cheap-ass version of Coke, which he says looks like there's a penis on the, on the label. Though I am attracted to the penis on the label kind of thing. Okay, that's enough of that. Um, so the things I wanted to talk about. This Saturday is Shop Small Business Saturday. We need to shop small businesses to get the economy going, to get people jobs. So everybody, shop your small businesses. We need to do that because, you know, that's what we need to do. So I wanted to get that out there because I was thinking of things the other day about, you remember the song, Video Kill the Radio Star? Well, Video did kill the radio star, and then MTV went and killed the video. I mean, they did, didn't they? But then, I was just noticing, oh, look, the Kindle. Don't buy a Kindle, because the Kindle has killed the bookstore, the bookstores. There's no more bookstores anymore. iTunes has killed buying, going to the music shop, because there's no music shop, which is, technology is killing jobs. It really is. This isn't supposed to be all that serious, but it really is. Think about it. The GPS? Who buys a map? Does anyone even know how to read a map anymore? No, we don't, because we don't all depend on that little electronic device, the GPS. It's crazy. It's crazy, but not as crazy as, well, as this. The other day, um, I had the fireplace repairman guy show up to take care of a problem with my neighbor's fireplace. They had to install a smoke guard. Well, he was supposed to start a test fire in the fireplace to see if the smoke guard would work. Well... He installs a stupid smoke guard, and then he starts to light the fire up, and then he asks, asks me this. Is the fireplace wood or is it gas? I think he's joking, because he's lighting a log on fire. And I'm like, what? And he's like, is the fireplace wood or gas before I light this match? And I'm like, you're the fireplace repair guy! You're the Chim Chim Cherie! Chim Chim and E! You don't know that that's not gas! You just cleaned the chimney! You cleaned the clean out at the bottom of the fireplace! You're asking me if it's gas now as you are putting a log on the fire? Oh my god! <laughs> It's another case of the smartphone making stupid people stupider. Yeah, that's right, because he was on his smartphone the whole time. Stupid person on a smartphone, and then a smart person on me getting stupider by his smartphone. It's just, look at me grabbing my boobs again. Turn you on? Yeah, whatever, okay. What else do I want to talk about? Uh, I talked about the fireplace guy. Oh, um, you can't see it now, but I'm watching Terms of Endearment. Oh my god, I love that movie. I love that. Movie! We don't have movies like that today. There I go, grabbing my boob again. Both of them at the same time. <sighs> okay, so what else I want to talk about? Oh, there's some sad news. Sad news, sad news. Um, Carl uh, uh, Sover has passed away. Carl Sover is one of the last remaining munchkins from The Wizard of Oz. Um, I actually saw him sing uh, a couple years ago at an uh, outdoor screening of The Wizard of Oz. So that was pretty awesome to see him. So um, the Lollipop Guild will never be the same without Carl Sober, one of the last remaining munchkins and one of the all-time greatest movies ever made. Thank God they haven't remade that one yet. If they do, I'm going to kill somebody. Okay, so something good else has happened. So, oh my God, it's, uh, Tina Turner, there's the boob thing again. What the hell? God, they're not even anything to grab. Tina Turner's going to be 72 this week. <sighs> she left a good job in the city, I'll tell you that. Anyway, I got a package in the mail, and I thought I'd share it right here on Gay Today. It is from those sassy girls, Amy and Angela. I already pre-opened it. Oh my God, it's a box of goodies. Um, oh, plastic bags. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God. Canada Mint. Canada Mint. I love them. I love these things. I love them. Oh, I have a box of Pop-Tarts. 
I got some of these awesome cookies. Thank you. What's this? Ooh. It's some chow mein. Yay! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, it's sky bars. Three sky bars. Yay! Mm. Look at these. Tuna salad and crackers. I've got lunch today. But the best thing is in here. It's an autographed picture from Brett and Josh, the fabulous Beekman boys. <laughs> I think it's them, them. Who's it from? It doesn't look like it is a signature. I love the Beekman boys. You guys should go buy their cookbook for Christmas. Oh my god, I got pictures to hang on my refrigerator. Yay! The turkeys. Remember doing that? The turkey hands? That's awesome. What else? Oh, some more ramen. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's some homemade bread in here. I think it's chocolate zucchini. Yay! And I got a little note. First of all, how cute is this paper? Sec this paper. Second of all, we're talking to Timothy about jobs and wanting to work at the Mercantile. Then we mentioned you, so that's why... Oh, that's from Timothy. That is an autograph from Timothy, who works at the Mercantile for the Fabulous Beekman Boys. Hi, Timothy! Thank you. And thank you, girls. Oh, wait, let's not forget. Amy and Angela are awesome. Not as awesome as me, but they're pretty darn awesome. Okay. So I was at CVS. Thank you, girls. I was at CVS, and I found some Moo Moo's. Take a look. The ladies wear them around their slippers. I don't know. What do you wear underneath it? Look, they have the pockets. What do you wear underneath it? Nothing. Old ladies walk around with nothing underneath yeah, it? Yeah, they do. They go like that. I'll show you the house. That's all you're getting today. I'm gay today. Hey, everybody. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Today's out. <laughs>